56 degree evening in Los Angeles. Capacity crowd better than 19,000 have made their way into Staples Center for the second game of our TNT doubleheader, the first meeting of the season between the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Los Angeles Lakers just underway here in Los Angeles. Bryant, that's a two-pointer, had a foot on the line. Kobe Bryant. For several of these games since returning from the uh, two-game suspension as Gooden gets inside and the Cavaliers lead 6-4. That was interesting to see the Portland Laker game last Scoring night. Scoring team LeBron James with that off-balance jumper. Cavaliers 8, Lakers 6. How about Nate McMillan really bothering San Antonio? Bryant going at James. Oh, you can see Kobe's eyes lighting up when he realized the man back was LeBron James and he took it right to him. He relishes. He's more aggressive. He can shoot the ball. He's a good defender. LeBron gets it to go and end the foul. Foul on, on Smush Parker. Because he has established himself here in Los Angeles. Oh, Kobe Bryant with a gorgeous spin. Lakers lead by two. LeBron James beating the Lakers back down court. And the game is tied. And there's the exchange that you could sense this crowd was waiting for, Marv. Back and forth, Kobe and LeBron. There's Bryant off the fake on Noble. And a foul. Or the for good. James penetrates. LeBron James with that hop skip moves. His defense giving up that wide open look. Oh, James on the stuff as Snow took it away from Bryant. Here's Marshall for three. Danielle Marshall from deep. Bryant played well by Newble. Shoots over him and scores at the buzzer. A three for Bryant. They'll review it. But there's no question he got it off on top. Ira Newble was in his face. I don't know, Marvin. James guarded by Vujicic. Here's James going right at him. Then by Brown oh. providing help and a foul on Kwame Brown. Wow. Remaining of the first half. And uh, Brian wasting no time. Boy, he was ice cold on that bench, wasn't he? <laughs> that, that didn't bother him. So right. nice pass to LeBron James, Danielle Marshall, and I think it's strictly a defensive injury. <laughs> Shot clock at four. Beautiful pass. James out the bounce to Ilgowskis. The season, but only eight up and eight down here at home. That was intended for Bryant and broke it up. Nice play by, by James. There's LeBron, and he is fouled in the end. Foul on Odom. It's a basketball, I believe. <laughs> and the foul is called on Bryant. Back of the clock, here comes James. Oh, LeBron James with a second to go in the half. Parker from back. <laughs> Did I just see that, Marv? LeBron, so much talk about the head-up competition between you and Kobe, but you were so excited on that last play. Talk about that play. Man, it was excellent. You know, we shrunk the four on Kobe Bryant. We knew he was going to try to break down our defense. East Snow got a great steal, and we got on a run. That's one thing that we do best. Offensively, you got to be very pleased, uh, as well as the inside play of Drew and also Z. Man, they, they brought the A game today. Uh, hopefully, they carried into the second half. Keep being aggressive, and uh, let's get to the free throw line and try to get on a run some more. All right, good luck in the second half. All right, thanks, Joe. EJ, let's send it back to you. Kenny Charlton. Well, each guy had a couple of spectacular plays, but overall, very quiet first half for Kobe. But, of course, we know he's a second half and a, particularly a fourth quarter type player. So look for him to get much more aggressive. But you look at that 11 points, no free throws for Kobe. And I think that's what stands out. LeBron been to the line seven times already, four assists. He's gotten his teammates involved, particularly Zadrunas Ilgowskis. Cavaliers really making it's an emphasis. gone by in the third. Ilgowskis to the reverse. And the Lakers have he was given a pump no fake now and then. That's a beautiful move by Parker. Parker has 12 points. Gooden from James. Yes. And the foul. And a beautiful pass thrown by LeBron James. Beautiful pass is right. He just sees the floor so well. And it's like he's 10 feet above everybody else, especially when he jumps. And he just sees angles that nobody else does. San Antonio, so they dropped to 28 and 5. LeBron James able to drill it. Cavs now have a seven point 
Advantage. Time He's played against LeBron James of the Cavaliers January 12th. Last season, suffered a sprained right shoulder, fouled by the uh, Cavs' Kedrick Brown, missed six games, and then January 13th, he landed awkwardly after grabbing a rebound and suffered a sprained right ankle. He missed 14 games. And tonight, after the good start, suffered a sprained right wrist right here. The told x-rays came back negative, but since he hurt the wrist, he's not been able to relocate that touch. And he hasn't really been as aggressive as we normally see him, Marvin. I, I think that's going to change. Cavaliers really. have the lead. Good job by Mim, switching off to James. Shot clock to four. LeBron for three. Yes. See, that's a much better three than the last one we, where he faded away. Of course, he knew he had Mim on him. He had the advantage. But when you when you shoot as you step towards the rim, get the best was for his team. And Ron, he's just anxious, ready to play basketball as soon as possible. Ron, I know. Risk as Bryant puts the move on Snow, who's called for the foul. This is a good one. Always loves to discuss the energy that that he brings to the ball club foul is called well, Angeles. Second of our TNT doubleheader earlier tonight, the Pistons beat the Spurs. Here's LeBron James from downtown, effortless, and shows us the follow through. Yeah, he has just improved dramatically with that jump shot. And you said it, Mark, effortless is right. Bryant putting moves on Snow and is fouled. Hit on a reach. Standing around and watching him play again. They've got to find a way to get both involved. Here's Jackson again from downtown. Luke Jackson with his third three-pointer. Cavaliers lead 86-85. Kobe Bryant only six. in the fourth quarter. And the foul is called on the Cavaliers. It's on James. Four left in the fourth. Here's LeBron. Banks it and scores. Wow. That's impressive. The body control, the feathery touch off the glass. 27 for LeBron James. Another strong game for LeBron. While Kobe started out at 5 for 7 from the field, then suffered a sprained right wrist and lost it. Good play by Bryant. Odom spinning his way. Odom for Bryant to George for three. Yes! Bryant. Deflection set that up. Down to six. Ilgowskis. That's deeper than usual for Zagrunas. Ilgowskis, he's had the touch. You see LeBron James covering Kobe. And Bryant able to hit over James using the screen. So the Lakers now lead 95. James, he's double team. Ilgowskis with five on the shot clock. Zydrunas Ilgowskis with the drive to tie it at 95. Down to seven. Bryant. Yes. So Kobe Bryant quiet for most of the center. The game clock and the shot clock. Bryant putting moves on James. Here's Bryant. Yes. He had a foot on the line. It's a two-point shot. Cavaliers call for time seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. The Lakers 99. The Cavaliers 97. And Steve Kobe broke a tie to give the Lakers the lead. They now lead it 99. 97. And Cleveland with one shooter. Damon Jones off the inbounds. Here's James. James twisting his way, and he threw the foul with 46% free throw shooter. And he brings the Cavaliers. Ten seconds left. And James missed the second. Rebounded by Gooden, and the Cavaliers take a timeout. Four and two ten seconds to go. And it comes down to the Cavaliers having a chance now to win it. They're down by one. They certainly would have preferred. Here's James putting the move on Bryant to the fadeaway. Not able to hit up the buzzer. The Lakers come away with a one-point victory. The Lakers 99 and the Cavaliers 98. So the Lakers go to 19 and 17. The Cavaliers drop to 20 and 13. Kobe, I understand that you had your right wrist x-rayed at halftime. How much was that bothering you in the second half? 
Well, it was pretty sore. Uh, and my teammates, uh, we talked about it. And they knew they just kind of had to you know, pick up the slack for me and I, uh, you know, just kind of stay in cruise control until we needed me to, you know, explode at the end. LeBron gave you the probably the biggest compliment that I've heard anyone talk about you, saying that you have a killer instinct. He's never played or faced anyone quite like you. Talk about the big shots down the stretch. Well, you know, that's what you know. That's what I live for. That's why, you know, uh, you know when you're a kid dreaming playing basketball in the backyard, you always do the countdowns, you know, and. Uh, these are the type of moments that I live for. You know, in the last five games, obviously, you scored 40, uh, 40 plus points. This must have seemed like a day off for you. You got a little rest tonight. You know, but it feels good, though. You know, I think it was very important for us to come out and get significant contributions elsewhere. You know, there's been a lot of talk about uh, me being a one man show and all that. And, you know, this is not the case. You know, certain nights I have to take over. Uh, but more so than not, you know, we won games when I scored 40, won games when I scored 10. You know, the important part is for us to play defense and, uh, you know, see if we can surprise some people. Obviously, it was a disappointing loss last night at Portland. Good win tonight. Looking forward to Monday's game. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, thanks a lot, Kobe. Right. Let's send it back to you, Mark. Steve?